guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and the third episode of Tea Day. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. First things first, let's pop the kettle on. Lol joke, I've already got some hot water and some tea right here. But you can go pop the kettle on and grab a cup of tea as we dissect today's topic, which is supplements. Supplements, supplements, supplements. Now today I'm going to be spicing things up a little bit and I'll be drinking a gingerbread tea. I'll be honest with you, I don't know what gingerbread tea is, but I'm about to find out. Mm. It smells so good. Yeah, tastes all right. It hasn't changed my life. Anyway, back to the point of this video and today's topic. Today we are talking all about supplements. Now, the reason I decided to do this video, and particularly as a tea day video, um, was because it's a question that I just get asked all the time. What supplements do I use? What supplements would I recommend? Um, how do I use them? How often do I take them? How I went from being overweight to being in shape. How I went from being not very strong to being pretty strong to squatting 130 kg. I thought that it was about time we sat down and just had a chat about it, to be completely honest. I just opened up to you about all the stuff I do and don't use and why I do and don't use them. Okay, sound good? Sound good? Okay, let's go. The things I'll be explaining to you are from a casual fitness point of view, not from a uh, serious athlete trying to win gold medals point of view. As I always say, the best person to chat to about things like um, supplements and your exercise regime is your doctor. They can refer you to physios, to dietitians who can chat through uh, these things with you and come to a plan that specifically suits you. Because the truth is we all have different goals, health conditions, uh, genetics, and as much as I would love to sit here and pretend I was some kind of all-knowing wizard who could tell you, you, you need to take some BCAAs, that, that's, you know. However, of course, as I come from a scientific background and as a doctor, I will be referring to some research and literature throughout this video. Supplements are exactly what they say on the tin in terms of a supplement is something that you use to supplement. So it's something that you add to enhance or make up for something else. Um, and there are a number of different supplements that people have asked me about. I'm gonna address the main ones in this video. If there are any others that you'd like me to chat about, then just leave me a comment. Just because someone tells you how great something is, it might be kind of all right, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you need to take it. I know that sounds rich coming from me. If you follow me on Instagram, like, you know, I. I'm not the best at budgeting. I started this channel as a student fitness channel, like team broke, you know? Um, there's not always a spare like 50 quid to spend on some supplements. So you do always want to read into whatever it is you are looking to take. And as I always say, discuss with your doctor. So the first supplement that I've been asked about and that I do use and that you may have seen throughout my videos is whey protein. Protein is an incredibly important and super crucial part of our diet. It contains amino acids, essentially the building blocks that are used for muscle growth. So when you're thinking of health and fitness, protein is understandably a really important part. But the truth is we can get our recommended needed amount of protein from our diet. Which is why I started off this video by defining what a supplement is. It's something we use to make up. So the truth is it might not actually need to make up for the amount of protein that you eat. There are so many great sources of protein from beef to chicken, eggs, yogurt, milk, beans, cheese, tofu, the list goes on and on. And if you love food like me, <laughs> oh my gosh, I love food, then it is actually really possible to get your daily amount of protein. So then raises the question, why on earth do I take whey protein? And the truth is, it's just an easy, convenient form of getting my daily protein. However, when I get home from the gym, I eat. So I might eat eggs, I might eat bacon, I might eat yogurt, I might uh, have milk in my porridge, or I might use whey protein and add that to a recipe like protein pancakes, protein waffles, or even to my oats just to get that protein component. It is simply an easier way of getting protein. There's nothing in that bag that you can't get from your normal diet. Most whey proteins are pretty cheap too so for me I find that personally that's something I can afford to do. Another supplement that I get asked about a lot is BCAAs. Now I don't personally use BCAAs. There is research to suggest that BCAAs can help to promote lean muscle mass and promote muscle growth, aid in recovery for endurance athletes, the list goes on. And BCAAs are an important part of our diet, we do need them. However, a lot like whey protein, 
we can just eat them. You don't necessarily need to drink them. You don't need to be sipping on them all the way through your gym session. Actually, a lot of us will get enough BCAAs through our diet alone. There is a difference between trying to lose some weight and being Mo Farah, okay? Hands up if you're not Mo Farah. I, as much as it might shock you, I know, crazy, right? I'm not Mo, not an endurance athlete. Now, athletes can have an increased requirement to reduce the amount of activity that they do. However, for a lot of us, that is not the case. So for me, they're not something that I've ever used. Another supplement that I get asked about is creatine. Creatine. Cre creatine. Creatine. I'm sure I say that word every single day. The creatine. Am I saying that wrong? Am I overthinking this? You know you keep saying a word and suddenly you can't say it anymore? Creatine, creatine. Oh my god. Anyway, creatine is another supplement that I get asked about a lot. And drum roll please, do I use it? No, I've never used creatine. I've never even tried it. Um, it was actually suggested and uh, offered to me as a junior athlete on the Welsh Talent Development Programme. However, I declined it at the time. It wasn't something that I felt was necessary at the time, despite the fact that I could have gone, gone on to it. Um, so it's not something that I've used personally and um, so I can't give you you know my experience of it and um, however there's a lot of research to suggest that creatine is a really good supplement um, that is relatively safe to use and it is used widely amongst athletes both competitive and non-competitive. Creatine is basically a molecule that our bodies can use for short intense bouts of exercise so we can make it in our own bodies we can also um, consume it through our diet. Now creatine is mainly stored in our skeletal muscle and creatine supplementation has been shown to actually increase those stores therefore can lead to an improvement in high intensity training and subsequently greater adaptations as a result of that training so there is loads of research to suggest that creatine uh, can be really helpful for athletes and for people training however is it absolutely necessary I would argue not that it is not absolutely necessary um, to take creatine in order to reach your goals so those are the main three supplements that I get asked about. If there are any other ones that you want to know whether I use or not, then just leave a comment in the box. Um, but that is the scoop on my supplement use, and it is very, very little. I personally uh, love to save money. I also love to eat. The truth is, there is no supplement for consistency. <laughs> if you could buy consistency in, in powder form and shake it up and sip it, and it would make you consistent with your health eating and exercise I would probably recommend it because I think for most of us what we're missing isn't you know that extra gram of BCAAs what we actually miss are the sessions <laughs> I know that for me and um, I have not exacerbated my level of commitment yet I still skip sessions sometimes I still skip reps I still sometimes just think nah pass me that McDonald's and um, oh, I'd love a McDonald's so I choose to save my money and focus on those things maybe one day I'll get to the point where actually I'm smashing it. I'm really, really sticking to my training program. I'm eating healthily and I've reached the maximum point that my diet and training alone will get me to. And maybe then I'll try creatine or try something else. I'll discuss it with my doctor. I'll discuss it with a dietitian. Um, so yeah, I thought that today I would just have a couple with you and give you the scoop on my thought on some supplements and whether I use them or not. And I just want to encourage you that if you kind of feel like, wow, health and fitness is expensive. I need all this pre-workout, these BCAAs, this creatine. How am I ever going to get fit? I just want to encourage you that, do you know, it ain't that expensive and, you, and there's a good chance that you don't need them. I really hope that you found this video helpful and useful and that it's given you an insight into what I use and why I do and don't use it. Have a read and educate yourselves. You know I'm all about education. Thank you so much for having a couple with me and for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on supplement use and um, any research that you've read that you found helpful. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!